Countries are already experiencing severe weather, and it's getting worse because of climate change. What if we could reduce climate change and its impacts, while at the same time helping developing countries reduce poverty and spur economic development? Well, we can, through partnerships between developed and developing countries and the private sector. These are called NAMAs. NAMAs are just a fancy word for policy actions. What we're talking about here is developing countries taking action in a policy sector, say renewables, say solid waste, and then combining that with a financial mechanism that creates incentives for companies to reduce those emissions and to take the kinds of actions we're after. Over 70% of Chile's greenhouse gas emissions are generated in the energy sector. This includes electricity generation as well as the transportation sector. So we know we need to start there. We really need to take advantage of the rich renewable resources we have here, ranging from geothermal, solar, wind, we have it all. And we really just need to find a way to tap into all of that renewable energy. Chile has a great opportunity. They've got fantastic wind resources on the coast. They've got the sun in the Atacama Desert, but at the same time, they have a very competitive market. So the price varies dramatically from day to day and hour to hour. And as you know, the wind only blows 25% of the time. So if your wind is blowing when the price is low and you're a wind developer, you're gonna lose your shirt. So what we're gonna do with the help of international donors is we're gonna give them a guarantee that they can get a fixed price whenever the wind blows and by doing that, that gives them a contract. They can go to banks, and the Chilean banks will step up and put the money in and invest in those wind and solar resources. One way to attract banks to provide that financing is through uh, mechanisms to make uh, cash flows more stable. A price stabilization fund is a mechanism through which developers of solar and wind projects can sell their energy at a fixed price instead of a volatile, variable price. This project has the support of the private sector because the private sector needs a financial instrument like this. They will be engaged because the government doesn't build energy projects, the private sector does. Chile's innovative NAMA will allow it to spur much larger private sector investments in renewable energy and avoid building some of the eight to 10 huge coal-fired power plants that are now planned. Chile avoids locking into a 50-year commitment to imported coal, and they create a new renewable industry fueled by their own resources. You may not know it, but solid waste is a big chunk of the emissions in every developing country. And if we move from dumping that waste in a landfill to composting, to recycling, to reusing that waste in industrial facilities like cement kilns, we can cut emissions in a country like Colombia by 16%. In the last decade, uh, Cali has had two tiers to its solid waste system. One is a large private operators uh, collect waste and take it to a modern landfill. And on the other side of that, is a community of uh, traditional garbage pickers who do their job unrecognized to the city and in very poor conditions. Llevo 33 años en la labor de reciclaje y para mí esa ha sido la mejor profesión que pues que me ha tocado hasta este momento. Y la expectativa pues de mi familia, yo vengo lo que yo me gano es lo que yo vengo para mi familia, de eso vivo. The, um, the Columbia project, for example, has proven its worth um, and in fact is, uh, can be replicated uh, not only in other parts of Colombia but, uh, but in other developing countries. Colombia 15 years ago was facing a lot of urban problems and traffic congestion general problems that are due to economic growth and population growth. So we decided as a national government to tackle down all these problems through the provision of a national program implementing bus rapid transit in the eight largest metropolitan areas of the country. Now is the opportunity to also complement this program with uh, transit-oriented developments. 
This tsunami goes beyond transit. It'll transform Colombian cities by attracting real estate development and jobs, blending low-income housing around transit stations, and creating neighborhoods where people can safely walk, live, work, shop, and play. We can cut driving in cities by half if we make those kinds of investments. What they have with these uh, better housing opportunities nearer to the core or nearer to the corridors is that they can spend less time in arriving where they need to go. They can uh, spend less money arriving where they need to go and that they can have an overall better quality of life because they have more time, they have more money, they have less expenditures and this is much better for them, especially when people are of low income. What we're doing now is going to be having an impact, a direct impact in the short term, but it will have a much greater impact in the medium and the long term. Germany is keen about financing NAMAS, because NAMAS can transform whole policy in developing countries. We believe that catalytic finance and policy assistance are key. They are key because they can help developing country partners to take their policies to a totally new level. We need these transformative policies now so that we can build a better future. The future here is really one where our development goals, our, our goals for a better life for our people, are tied and linked to our goals for reducing air pollution. It's possible to put those two things together. All of us together can solve our development and climate challenges. I'm Ned Helm, I'm the president of CCAP.